had to make sure the audio was good first. Um, what am I? Uh, let me see if I can change this. So, all right, so turn it up a little bit. It's a little hot. Um, my six month review of old sample. Uh, well, nah, it's been a little past six months. Um, yeah, my six month review. If you want to know, I made let's see. I made about 32000 this year. I made 9000 last year. So it's about forty one. And if you do six months, you know, times two, that's about 80 some thousand my first year. If, you know, if I make that. But with overtime, I, I might make more. I don't know. I, I'll let y'all know, you know, January, I'll let y'all know. But uh, as you can see, I'm a PND driver still. Uh, the story behind that is I was lying home, wasn't working out with my fiance, and a lot of stuff went down. And all I want to say is if my term manager and no, service center manager, service center manager, sorry, I'm assistant service center manager. Watch this, shout out to y'all, y'all are the best. I appreciate y'all, uh, everything y'all do for me, uh, us at the terminal in general. Um, but anyways, um, my review. Um, if I were, if I don't have to give Southeastern Freight Lines a rating out of 10, I don't wanna say 10 out of 10, cause that would just sound like I'm being a cheerleader. Um, let me see. I would say, oh, yeah, nine out of ten for me. Um, I don't really don't know anything to complain about. Really, I'm just gonna go nine out of ten because I don't want to seem like I'm kissing, you know, kissing ass or anything. These people are looking at me weird. But anyways, um, yeah, nine out of ten. Don't know where that one point is. You know, this missing's come from, but it's great. I mean, I don't. I want to say pros and cons, but. Really the only cons are you're going to be working a lot. But with overtime, you're going to be making a lot of money. So that, you know, it kind of evens out. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess a pro and a con would be, I guess it could be, I won't say the same thing. To me, the, a pro is a culture. Um, I guess it could be a con to some people. Some people might not like it, but I, I like it. Culture, to me, it's not like corporate. Like, everyone is a family. Like, it's a family family-owned company of course but people treat you like family like you know everybody at the terminal knows your name like my first my first week people random people were coming to me like oh you They're like hey colton how you doing uh that's my name sorry uh and of course i don't even know these people i have no idea who these people are I've never met them before i may have seen them but like, hey colton how you doing good morning colton i'm like good morning whoever you are but eventually you know, i'll learn the names but um yeah the culture man i mean it's I did think, you know, at first I was like, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a corporate, you know, just like every other company, but Southeastern are different. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you got anything negative to say. You, you can say it. I mean, you probably used to work for Southeastern and I'm th thank God I, I didn't listen to people who were negative about Southeastern before coming over here because so many people was trying to stop me from coming over here and I just, I just can't. I mean, I'm glad I came over here. Now, culture is a good thing for me. I mean, the money's good, yes, but how you're treated is good too. Like you'll be respected and paid paid well. That's the two. That's the two things in trucking you rarely see is being paid well and being respected. People are gonna respect you. They're gonna and they're, like I said, they're gonna pay you well. I mean, it's like a family. I mean, um, yes, we all have a job to do, but it doesn't mean someone's not gonna stop you and talk to you. Like, hey, you know, how's your day going? You know, what's going on? You know, are you enjoying it? Um, what can they do to make it better? Uh, ask you how your day was. You know, you talk about fishing and you know sports, anything you really want to talk about. People are really nice. I mean, there's nothing, nothing more you can ask for. I mean, I guess you could ask for more money, but I mean, really, what seventy to eighty thousand? Hell, ninety if you want to run on the weekends like I do, or even a hundred. I don't know. I don't know how much money you can make now with overtime and the raises, but I mean, that, that should be enough. I mean, for me in Alabama, the luck. The cost of living is pretty low, so I mean, seventy thousand is enough. Anything past that is just a luxury, in my opinion, because my my fiance makes seventy or more. So you know, we ain't got no kids. So you know. Anyways, get back to the point. Southeastern Freight Lines. Um, equipment's nice. Uh, I'm mad. Now, today I was mad. I wish I would have came in later because I would have been in a twenty twenty two Volvo. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. My time will come. I will drive one of those new Volvos as, as nice as they look. You know, the Cadillacs that we have. 
you know, it, it's okay. I was in, I was in a I was in an older Volvo, which is still nice. Volvos are good. I like Kenworths personally, but I've never driven a new Volvo. I've heard they were pretty good. Uh, the equipment is great. Um, let's see. The hours are great. At least at my terminal, I work usually six to six. If I come in at nine fifteen, I know I'm gonna get off between eight and nine. I can't complain. Um, I need to get. I need to get see my dispatcher talk to me because they had me train on the dock and I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of dot work. I'm not a, not a fan of dot work, but after talking to him, he changed my mind. I mean, he was right. He's like the more valuable you are to Southeastern, the more money, you know, or hours you can get. And he was right. I need to get, you know, I need to get trained on the dock. And so I'm, I'm beginning to that. The dock's not strict or anything. I mean, of course they want you to not damage freight. You know, we try to serve our customers as best as we can, but uh, <clears throat> don't be afraid to work the dock, you know, do whatever you got to do i mean i wasn't with dot work but now i'm like you know hey if it's the help southeast for now i mean all they did for me might as well uh my term manager he was on like that i told him i was like hey man that's not for me you know he, he took me off of it so i mean it's not like something they're gonna force you to do and it's not required you know sometimes they might need you know you might have to go when we're freight volumes are real high at the end of the night they'll be like hey check in with the dock supervisor they might need you and if you don't know how to work the dock, they might have you hostling, you know, moving trailers or stuff like that. Or, you know, if you know how to work the dock, they're going to have you work in the dock. And obviously this might be a long video because I'm talking about, you know, my review. And I want to give you all a straight up answer and my opinion. I will do a one year video just to see if, you know, my opinion has changed. Then maybe a two year instead of doing, every, you know, six months or one year, and a year and a half. But, you know, to me, in our region... No, no, nothing in my opinion nothing's better than southeastern freight lines and i know how that sounds i sound like a cheerleader i sound like a prime youtuber or a guy from schneider or you know all these other kids or blah 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 these other youtube truck but you just have to experience it for yourself um god i'm, I'm probably sounding like chris shout out to chris if you watch this video uh the estes driver of course i haven't talked to him in a while but shout out to chris shout out to trucker d um who else is a LTL YouTuber? I don't know, but shout out to you guys. Shout out to Chuck. I uh, haven't seen a video of him posted, but I'm getting off topic. But anyways, yeah, you know, just trying to work the dock, you know, just, you know, just trying to make myself more versatile, you know, and all that stuff and trying to help Southeastern and serve as best as I can. Um, let's see, you know, the equipment, you know, the work. Everybody's friendly. Again, I hate to so don't don't come over here i know if you're coming from another ltl people are gonna tell you it's strict and yeah it might be in some places but you know that's just that's what you gotta do to move the freight man you know you can't be you can't be like other places where you're just slacking off and you know you're missing pickups or you're just still in company time or you know you just can't do all that like a lot of people were, were like scared they were gonna start capping hours once they started overtime but i mean they haven't they haven't did that to us yet i mean but i mean again we're at a big terminal we're the biggest terminal in birmingham so uh, I, I don't know i don't know how other people's experience are this is my experience in birmingham but southeastern changed my life um i was a little burnt, burnt out on the ltl for a second but that's gonna happen to everybody. I'm I'm just such an LTO person. Like I want to push it, push it, push. It. I want to work 50 to 60 hours, and I want a five to 600 mile weekend run. I mean, I want to do it all, and you know, eventually I'll probably be doing dot work, which um, you know, voluntary dot work, of course. Which yeah, that that's fine. Um, yeah, in my opinion, in the region, Southeastern has to be the best. To in my opinion, let me say, in my opinion, it has to be the it is the best but that's just my opinion so um i'm getting way off topic i don't even know what it, what all i was talking about the equipment you know the way people treat you the health insurance and stuff i don't know if i can share that stuff on my youtube so i'm not going to but no it's really good uh it's a i was told our insurance and old dominion is the best non-union insurance you can get so if that tells you anything i know our insurance is better than old dominions so that tells you anything there you go um yeah i'll be here for a year january i have three weeks of vacation and a year uh well one week of personal days and two weeks of vacation um i get married in august of course they let me off no questions asked you know and uh yeah 
safety guy's cool. I mean, I, I tore down a, a phone line, which obviously a phone line, if it's not high, high enough for your truck to go under, it's not your fault anyways, especially if that's how you deliver to that place in general. Safety guy was cool, send them pictures, you know, that's, I got stuck once, I think my second week here, I got stuck in a, a construction site, which it said trucks go that way. I went that way and I got stuck in gravel and mud. And um, yeah, I got stuck. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes, man. And they they still treat me good. Um, seem like people, people, I'm not gonna say they love me. They like me at least, you know. Uh, I'm the youngest driver over here. I'm the baby of the group, you know, 23. Uh, not, not many 23 year olds, you know, just getting paid. 70 80 90 thousand dollars a year obviously but a lot of people people my age don't want to work this much but you know i i was raised by a hard working man and that's how i am the dispatchers they're not on you they give you what you, you know what you get and whatever route you're running you run your route you have a problem you call them figure it out continue running your route you're done call them ask them what you want they want you to do you're going to come back in do a swap you might do extra pickups around it just all all depends man i mean I have no problems with all three of my dispatchers. I mean, one of them, he'll pull, he pulled me to the side. He'll talk to me like like a father figure. He'll talk to me, you know, about whatever, you know. If, like, he talked to me about the doc. He was like, son, he's like, I'm just trying to help you. I'm not trying to punish you because he knows they don't like the doc. He's like, I'm just trying to help you. Uh, you know, I want you to come in. I know you want to come in and get off early. I know you want to come in at 6, you know, and get off earlier instead of coming in at 9.15 and getting off around 8 and 9. He was like, I'm just trying to help you because, you know, you're – at the lower end of seniority because we have a lot of drivers and um you know if you work the dock you know that's that's an extra way you can come in at six get off you know 637 and get 12 hours a day and once i seen it from that point of view it, it just changed my mind like yeah he's right you know i'm glad he talked to me it made me feel better about the situation and it's just i don't know man nine out of ten don't know where the one point could go i just don't want to seem like i'm you know kissing butt or i don't know if i probably said ass but i apologize and I can definitely see myself retiring here. And if I do retire here, I'm hoping I can do part-time line haul after I retire. Um, but yeah, that's my review. If you want good pay, good equipment, and be treated, you know, like people actually care about you, then Southeast Freight Lines is the way to go. Um, good benefits. It's all it's all real well rounded. I was told that the castles really appreciate their drivers. And I can see that. I mean, I can really see that. Um, I mean, who who got their raise yet? I don't know anyone who's got their raise yet within this year. And we've got our raise already, you know, 90 cents and everything and overtime and all that stuff. So I just don't I just don't see anybody else doing it. I mean, there might be. And if there is, you know, comment below. I don't want to know. I'm not arguing with anybody. You know, it's just in my eyes. I haven't seen anyone do it yet. But, um, yeah, I mean... I would say use my name as a referral, but even if we was getting paid, you know, fifteen hundred, however much money, I don't. It ain't really about that. I just want you to take my word and you know experience it for yourself. And if it's for you, if it sounds like what you want, just experience it for yourself, man. I mean, I don't think putting me down is gonna help you in any way. I mean, it could, and even if I dig your referral bonus, I don't. I don't care about that, man. I just want you to. I just want you to experience something good. That's all I want. And I want you to experience it at Southeastern because Southeastern is great. And if you want to be local, you know, making great money, Southeastern is where it's at. LTL wise, if LTL is what you want to do, Southeastern is where it's at. In my opinion, this is my personal opinion. And yeah, that's my review. Uh, any Southeastern employees watching this, shout out to you. Uh, we all serve together. Uh, ho hopefully I'll meet you one day, whether that be at my terminal and you're a line haul driver or, at, you know, anywhere else out and about if you come to my terminal and help. Uh, we're all one team you know value each other and i really learned that over this past month that we really value each other i mean these people are just you know something different and uh yeah that's really my review i uh, hope you guys have a good day and i am about to enjoy my weekend